Hello. Well, I guess Cat isn't going to be here. So, Edge. oh well. Well, last time, all of you were flying in your spaceship for various reasons to Adari, and then fleet of Andrews, were, fleet of Andrews warships, showed up, and they shot lasers and made your ship explode. But at the same time. The warp field unraveled, so some weird stuff happened, and you ended up in the morgue, and there you met Wendy, and she doesn't know that she's dead, because she's dumb. And it, oh, Opie was like, I need to talk to the government. She went to the Capitol building, but for some reason you wanted by the government. So, then you were fighting, and then, let's see. See, Dennis was being psychotic Iron Man and exploding everybody. So then you retreated. And, oh, and then OP ran into his daughter, Kate. She wasn't happy to see him. They're having some family issues. And so now you decided you want to go check in on your plants, animals, and then visit Kate's place of employment. So what's everybody doing?
Are you going to see how your plants and animals are doing? I mean, we do have to find them. Okay, yeah, you look at the address and your receipt, and you walk over there, and there's a greenhouse that has all the plants in it, and then next to that, there's the kennel where Opie's pets are, like his flying wolves and his kobolds. I like that the kobolds are there. <laughs> You guys ready for Fortnite Chapter 6, Epstein's Island? What? Come on, guys. I'm not feeling the energy here tonight. <laughs> well, this is more confused. I was like, Epstein's Island, what the fuck? And yeah, the... Plants see you, Hazel, and they're uh, wiggling their tentacles and vines in happiness. And then the power's like, Master, you have returned. Well, then, my good plants, hope you didn't eat anything weird again. Okay, I hope they managed to even get them in, you know. Yeah, and you can see the uh, plant keeper is very nervously watering them, staying back as far as he can. <laughs> Makes it even better. Well, oh, then I know that they're safe. I'll come. Pick them up later. Can't yeah. really carry them around. Unless they also grew, unless they also learned how to walk. Nope, they're stationary. All right, no, I'm gonna have to pick them up later then. At least they look like they're in good hands. Yes. But at least tell the plants not to eat the keeper. The keeper's happy to hear that. And have them eat weird stuff again. What if they get indigestion by eating something weird? Yep, hazel plants are good. Cloudy plants are growing soon. Nice big shiny purple pears. The cobalt did yep, 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 yep. And they were like, uh, Master, we want to play fetch with you. And then, yeah, you guys stop there, and then uh, Kate is continuing on. He's like, ah, oh, whatever, I have to go to work. Are you still following her, Opie? Mm Then after checking on the plants and animals, you go weaving through some dark alleys and end up in what's seeming like not a great part of town. And then you end up, where is that? Oh yeah, here in the cellar.
Oh, yeah. Actually, um, what happened to our uh, pilot and her three boyfriends? They're staying in a hotel. Well, so they didn't get to go to the morgue? I guess not. Can you see how things are? Yep, yeah, and then that's he gets a pretty suspicious looking joint here now, and then our wolf people are leering at you and growling. And then Kate sets down her messenger bag and is like, Okay, okay, I, I brought you the package and sets that down. And then here's someone who's like, mm, Good girl. And Kate wags her tail. Wait, what was her work again? This is her job that you're in now. Well, yeah, but I mean, what was it? You thought we was mentioned. It looks like she's a delivery person. Yeah, her normal job. Funny enough, better than ours. Yeah, is, does Opie say anything? Bro, well, I don't even know what the, where the fuck they are right now. Oh. At her employment. Yeah, at Kate's job. What is Kate's job? Delivery, apparently. It looks like she's involved with some criminal activities. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna approach whoever looks like they're in charge. Uh, okay, it looks like you don't, you do not see that person. It looks like they're hiding. Hope he's going to whistle and just say, all right, I want whoever's in charge here right now or everybody's in trouble. I am here. You just can't see me because I'm hiding. Motherfucker, I am not. I, I, today is not the day, and I am not the one. You come the fuck out right now. No, this is my house. I make the rules. I will burn this bitch to the ground without a second thought or any sweat, my brother. So why don't you just kill yourself? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Not being a good host by hiding. You forgot to take our coats. Hey, Kate, darling, daughter of mine. Yes, Dad. You wanna you wanna you wanna tell your friend what tends to happen to people that don't do what I say? Mm, yeah, my dad can turn into a dragon. That's that's not even the scariest thing I can do, but yeah. So why don't you uh why don't you come out? Or we're gonna have an issue. <laughs> why don't you make me? Well how big is this building? It's it's a like a wine cellar underground it's pretty small wait you, you, we are down a player that means opie's wife actually gets to do stuff this session right well right now you have kate in your fourth slot uh i was gonna make that was gonna make the bounty hunter tell him to get the fuck out what level are we level 10. nine oh ten and what the, i've do i have six level spells or just fifth level fifth right yeah fifth. Uh, I cast Fairy Fire in the room. <laughs> Can I expend a higher level spell slot to just act like I'm casting it multiple times, but just, like, mechanically? But in reality, it just looks like I cover the whole room. Let's, let me go look at Fairy Fire. Well, I guess you can upcast it to give it a bigger area. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to fill the room with fairy fire, which makes any invisible creatures visible. Um, well, okay, you didn't do that. They're not invisible, but you can you can roll perception and then you have advantage. Yeah, 
Uh, well, I don't have the roll 20 open, so would you like to roll a d20, or can I just roll a physical one? Uh, sure, you can do it IRL. Because the, the reason I have to go so early is I've been having a lot of Wi-Fi issues, and it usually has just been cutting out around 10. Can we guess Comcast? Uh, no. Spectrum. Oh. Uh, that's an 11. Uh, oh, see, I get to roll twice. Hold on. Uh, 17 plus a druid's proficiency and wisdom. So I'm assuming that's going to be something like a, like a 23, 22. Wait, no. We have, how, much, how much proficiency do we have? No, 5, 25. It's going to be mm -hmm. a 25. Okay, yeah, you reveal the person. From efficiency I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over. Nope, he's just gonna put a hand on his shoulder. And nope, he's gonna say, "Hey, bud, what you doing?" Mm, well, she's my property, so and she works for me, so you're not taking her anywhere. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. I have killed people for less than that. So I'm going to let you rethink this once. Once. Ju just, just, just once. If the next thing out of your mouth isn't an apology, all of your friends are going to watch you become a fucking splatter on the wall. I'm not apologizing. Okay. Uh, Opie, while holding him, is going to turn into a dragon and put all of his weight on this dude. <laughs> Okay, roll initiative. I got a natural 20. Wow, those are some good rolls. Okay. No, it, they're not. One was a 15. It's not, that's not very high. Or not 15, 17. That okay, so Claudine and Hazel roll initiative also. All right. Looks like, man, John, you made two rolls. You're already cheating. <laughs> no, I'll put you over next to that guy since you're talking to him. To be fair, this is the first... The, the reason this is most suspicious is this is the first time I've rolled a good initiative this entire campaign. I roll a flat 20 for my initiative. All I do is suffer. Here, so do you have initiative? No, we need. What did you get for initiative for OP? Wait, Hawk. Doesn't Hawk get to roll a for his initiative and get the better? I do. I do, yes. Well, I'm just having an issue. Yes? I'm having a tech issue. What was this guy? Like, I, I, I seen him. What was he? What do you mean? Like, what race is he? Oh, hold on, let me sh do, 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 show, uh, one moment. I'd like to reiterate the point of no computer right now. Oh, okay, yeah, he's, uh, oops. 19. He's a wolf person like Kate. He's a wolf person like Kate? Yeah. Let me grab the art. And we're surrounded by lion feet. Show to players. Yeah. So because we're not in nature, the way this transformation is flavored is the physical timbers that make up this building crack and strain, pulling away from the building and encircling Opie as he turns into this giant wood dragon. Ooh, you turned into a giant wood dragon. What did you get for initiative? Uh, a natural 20. I don't know what my bonus is. I think it's like a 0 or a 1. Okay, so would you say it's 20? 20 initiative. Oh. Oops, indeed. Okay, so you turned into a dragon. Tell us what you do on your turn. Opie. Oh, wait. I have to go, I have to go check how much. I think this is 8d8, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just pull it up to double check, though. Uh, Opie is going to open his mouth, and swirling energy begins to form deep in his throat, right in the face of this fucker. 
I thought you said you were stomping him. I was, but weight doesn't do anything and that's not an action. I just put my weight on. Okay, how much damage is this? Uh, breath weapon. 8d6. That's a fireball, right? Those are d8s. By the way, what uh, what level do you get true polygon for that? I don't know. See, you want, you guys want to know some bullshit? I accidentally rolled four d8s and all of them got an eight, and then I rolled a sixty-eight and got a three five one six two four. That's a total of uh, twenty-one damage, and they need to make a. Oh, by the way, um, it is level seventeen. Because true poly is a level nine spell. Oh, that's scary. I get B shape, by the way, not true polymorph. Well, no, the reason I was saying that is because I mean, turning someone into a frog permanently is also right. Uh, as Opie releases a shroud of necrot, or just a cone of necrotic damage directly into this wolf person's face. Okay, what type of save do they have to roll? No, that's a good question. Uh, con. Con. Okay, let me grab that. Mm, con. Oh, they failed. 21 damage. Okay. Wait, wait, no. I rolled 66, not 86. But hold on, two more, two more dice. Okay. Uh, that is a total of 28. Okay. I think that's one or two away from average for this roll. What is average for 20? Oh, no, shit. <laughs> average of 8d6 is 28. Funny. That's the end of my phone. Okay, let's see now. It's that person. Ah, you will pay for that. Guys, help me fight him. Oh, everyone yeah. needs to make a uh, make a saving throw for beer. Uh, shouldn't we get cannon first? And then we'll get oh, a saving throw for fear. Oh, cat, uh, you are here. What type of saving throw against fear? Everyone within 30 feet makes a wisdom saving throw against fear. My phone alarm didn't wake me up. Not a problem, it's in there. Okay, so they have to make a wisdom saving throw. They have to make a wisdom saving throw. And... Oh, they have to make a wisdom saving throw. You know, it's really nice of you to probe their wisdom save throws for me. Okay, they're not good. What size is Opie now? What'd you say? What size do you grow to? Huge. Oh. Too big. Large, huge. Oh, I'm gonna to have to move you over. Your hugeness does not fit there. Okay, that person say failed the saving throw, that, so they are frightened of OP. I just like how we always forget that Hawk is huge, and it's always leaving this. Oops, Hawk should be bigger. Let me fix that. Bunch of charge. Okay. Well, then we just have them as large for convenience at this point. Pretty much. What's the DC for the saving throw against the fear? Uh, somebody tell me what our proficiency throw is. Four. It's four? Jeez, I thought it'd be higher than that by now. Uh, uh, so that's going proficiency to be five. Is, uh, five. DC 15. Max. Okay, that person okay. saved. So it's their turn. <laughs> Just 
we have them? Okay, that person will be there. So I guess that person's going to have... We get proficiency five at 13. And, uh, proficiency six at 17. Okay, yeah, the boss is right. They're going to pay for that, and they're going to, let's see, try to... Oh, they want to shank OP, so they'll stab you, and then there's the ally next to them, so they get sneak attack. Okay, so that's just your meat to poison damage. So that's only 24 damage to you from that guy. Right, die! I'm going to shank you! And then, let's see. That guy... That's, that guy attacks OP. Oh, I'm going to shank you for my boss! So get shanked for that damage. And that person, I guess, shoots at OP. Burn! And then those people attack Cloud in like, Hey, you pissed off the boss, you have to die. So shoot at you. That person, these people are shooting. So you get hit for damage, and then that person's like, burn the hole, and let's see, they want, they throw, they throw a grenade at Claudine. So you have to make a dexterity saving throw, or else you take damage. Throw the natural one on that grenade there. Okay, so yeah, Claudia and her ex grenade explodes at your feet. She's got to save. Roll 20 is being slow today, sorry. Not a problem. Did we take a long rest before this, or? Mm. 14? Since last time, no, you did not take a long rest. Okay, so you only take half of that damage. So that's 15 and half that because you're a barbarian. So now it's Caldean's turn. It's not halved yet because uh, I'm not raging yet. Oh, right. So you can take 15 damage. Uh -huh. Now I rage. Just this one guy? No, there are there are other enemies. That one, that one, that one, that. Okay, I couldn't. That one was in the wall, so I wasn't. That yeah, one and that. One. Well, then in that case, I. Uh, I'm the right size right now. Yes. 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 I laugh. So I think my AC is wrong. What should it be? A 19. I will fix that. Update. Save. There we go. All right. This is a uh, Berserker Axe Reckless Great Weapon Master. Okay. Is a 19 hit? Yes. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven damage. Okay. Um, fourteen, eight, twenty-two damage. Oh. Attack. No. But they're just like, oh, and they're bleeding profusely. That is my turn. Okay, case turn. Ah. 
Uh, Don't you dare hurt my dad. Just, just have her run over there. One, two. And go over there. Attack. Oh my gosh, scroll to on is being slow. Is everything quiet? Because we're waiting for low twenty roll twenty to load. Uh... Well, anyway, it's Hazel's turn. Yeah. All right, let's see. How many of us are? Um, one, two, three. Five, sorry. Really? Yeah, okay. Then, uh, all right. Then I shall cast Bless at third level, giving everybody bless. Okay, everybody is blessed. And uh, that'll be my turn. Okay, then Sophie's turn. Yep. I don't know if you want me to roll initiative or whatever, but it looks like it got messed up. What should, what should the number be? Uh, on the For tracker, you. it says six. I can change it to what the number that it should be. What should it be? I haven't rolled. Okay, roll initiative. <laughs> there we go. Now it's fixed. So I'll set you over to there. Okay, hold on. Let me go to... Okay, it's Dis's turn. I should still be going after Hazel, but okay. I mean, uh, well, Hazel <laughs> just took their turn, so now it's your turn. Yeah. Uh, come on, put that. There we go. Now it's Dis's turn. What will you do? Initiative order preserved. Sorry. Uh, brain slow. Just woke up. Uh, spend an action and two spell points to create an Eldritch Cannon. What's the name? Yeah. And this time I am choosing the Flammenwerfer. Ah, oh, yes. And as a bonus action, let me just cone. Yes, those two make deck saves. Okay, let's have them make deck saves. Dexterity, and then that person has to make a dexterity saving throw. They will succeed. 
Assuming they take seven damage. Okay. Seven damage. And that'll be my turn. Okay, now it's Opie's turn. Whose turn is it? Opie's turn. You gotta roll a d6. That's a three. Okay. So, this motherfucker has the goddamn audacity to say he's gonna do whatever he wants with my child. Okay. So, so here's 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 the issue with that. He really isn't him. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna find my fucking subclass again. This could take a while. Nah, not really. Uh, the Jedi class. No, that's not it. And that was my backup character, the Obi. Okay, multi-attack. Two attacks, one with its claws and one with its tail. Five plus four is nine. Don't forget, you also have a D4, so you can bless. Okay, so that is a 18 for one and a 14 for the other. 18 hits. Okay. So the 18 would be... Uh, for to uh, 3, 3 plus 5, a uh, total of 11 damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, 11 damage. What are we waiting on now? What else do you want? Do you do on your turn? Oh, that's that's it. Oh, okay. Then it's their turn. You'll pay for me, trying to mess with my operation. That person's going to continue shanking OP. Shank. Hmm. Shank. The dirty hitting wood. Okay, so that's 22 damage. And then... Wait. How much AC does that wood of yours have? How much AC does that wood of mine have? Yeah, you are made of wood. Uh, I'm just made of a plant material. So I have to find a way to play with everything. It's 17 AC. Only one of them hit. Mm-hmm. And, and then... you're immune to poison, right? Uh, no, that changes. I'm currently immune to necrotic. Oh. Oh, well then, let's see. Only the poison blade hit. Okay, then you take 22 poison damage. Plus six piercing. Yes, yeah, so that's for a total of 44 damage. Actually, you're required to make a DC 15 con save. Okay, make a, taking the poison. Make a con save. Well, 
that's that, 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 that doesn't bode, bode well. Um, four plus five is nine, plus six is fifteen. So that's a that's a fifteen. Not six. Okay, so you take half of 22, 11, oh, okay. plus 6, 17 damage total. Oh, it's 20 plus 11 total. Yeah, then that's only 33 damage that you take this turn. And then those guys attack OP. Like, hey, Luke the boss. Mm -hmm. This person attacks. And then, and then that person attacks you. And that person's like, oh, I got a dragon, and runs away so you can make an opportunity to attack, Diz. Uh, I don't have Warcaster. Okay, then they just run away. Well, Opie can make an opportunity yeah, you can attack. Punch them. Warcaster, you can not attack. What is an unarmed strike? Um, What's an unarmed strike? It's will... strength. It's a d20 plus strength, and then it's one plus strength damage. I actually... No, I choose not to. Okay, you can make an opportunity attack, Opie. Yeah, I rolled a, uh... What fuck did I roll? Oh, I rolled a 19. That hits! And then I rolled 16 damage. Okay, 16 damage. And then those guys are attacking Claudian. There. Attack Claudian. And that guy attacks Claudian. You take 16 damage. So then it's Claudian's turn. Uh, the crit hits because I reckless. Oh, okay, so let me think there's... Uh, oh. So that's a total of eight, 20 damage, and then half that to 10, I guess. 2 plus 5, that's 7, plus 15, which is another 7. Oh, 14. Wait, 1, 2... Yeah, you just take that damage, so that's... Uh, what's that? I mean, 32, and you have that to 16. Is there another crit that went towards him? Because Reckless? There were two crits. Uh, and... I only see. Oh, let me see. Extra damage for one of them, then. Okay. Yep, then he's turn. Hey, you're going to pay for pissing off my dad and trying to hurt him. So just have her attack, 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 attack. Oh yeah, just punches in the face. He's like, oh, and knocks out a couple of his teeth. He's like, hey, I don't know if this matters, but I forgot four damage from my uh, opportunity attack. Okay, four more damage. He's like, ah, oh, Kate, you're gonna pay for disobeying me. So now it's Hazel's turn. You guys are taking advantage of the bless, right? What'd you say? You have bless on you. It only applies to attack rolls and yeah. saving throws, not damage. Yeah. Well, no, well, it's because I looked at you guys, some of you guys, you guys haven't had been added bless at all. All 
I could. I could just use Guiding Bolt. Hmm. Is he within that range? Okay, fifteen feet. Then it's not like I get to cast it every day. I cast a thing grenade on this guy. Okay, Constitution saving throw. Yeah. Fail. Well, I'll take fifteen da uh, bludgeoning damage. Fifteen damage. Okay. Actually. Okay, and it's at the point maximum is also reduced by that much. Mm -hmm. It is also incapacitated. Incapacitated? Yep. Can't move or take actions or something like that. He can't breathe and is constantly vomiting blood. Fun times. And it's sort of its grinning ass to be. Yeah. Okay, that person, yep, is incapacitated. <clears throat> oh, and uh, as a little extra bonus for him, uh, I need a wisdom saving throw. Okay, wisdom saving throw 18. Meets it, yeah. beats it. Yeah, he meets it, he beats it. That'll be the end of my turn. Though. Okay, then it's just his turn. Hmm. Well, the guys ran away this direction, right? Yes. Bonus action flamethrower him. Okay. <laughs> That would be deck save on his part. Deck save... 14. Fail. 11 fire damage. Okay. And then for main action... Hmm. Actually, oh, Wi Fi disappeared. I'm going to probably drop soon. Hello. Uh, trying to figure out what to do. It's a pain. Mm. Oh, that would be absolutely mean. So, of course, I'm going to do it. She's going to pull out a... set of... what look like two bladed wheels with gears on either side. Mm -hmm. And wind something up before chopping it in front of her. Mm 
going this direction. Boing. Oh, it's one of those. Yeah. Yep. Gears of War chainsaw machine. See, they have to make a dexterity saving throw. And fail. Okay, so that's three slashing. I forgot to turn it. Okay. Ah! Okay, so... And before it loops back around, she's going to move back to here. Okay, so yeah, it goes across the floor through that guy. Up the up the wall. Now it's going across the ceiling. In the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Okay, then it's Opie's turn. All right. Uh, how far did that dipshit get away from me? Two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. About forty feet. All right. I'm closing that distance. Okay. Uh, that is a natural 17 and a natural 19 to hit. Those both hit. Right, so that's going to be, what is it, 2d6 and then 2d8. How tall is the ceiling in this place? 20 feet. So would Opie have moved into the line of this ripper? Mm. No, I guess it would have passed him. That is a total of 27 damage. Hooah! You killed that guy, but you stepped away from the boss who's going to make a opportunity. No, the, the, the I, thought the, I, I was attacking the boss. The boss. He said you attacked the guy who ran away from you. Oh, I thought that was the boss. I'm very confused. Uh, this one over here is the boss, and he's currently incapacitated. So he can't even take reactions. Oh, yeah, he can't take reactions. Yeah, He's well, just on the floor vomiting. Yeah, then I'm attacking the boss for that. 20 okay, well then you get advantage, I guess, because they're incapacitated. So how nope. much? Do... No, let me let me let me just. Incapacitated on. just means they can't take actions or reactions. Okay, you just can't take actions or reactions. Okay. But then that guy is still over there. I mean, he is slowly dying by blood bombing. You could just leave him alone. So we suffer. What are you going to do, OP? What'd you say? What are you, what doing? Are you going to do? Attack that guy. Okay, do your attacks. I did the attacks. Oh, well, how much damage do you do? I said I, I, I hit the, the boss for 27. That's what I said. Okay, that person dies. Am I just not being hurt? What's going on? Oh, I thought you were talking about it. Okay, well, that person dies. So then all the other people are like, Oh my goodness, he killed the boss. We surrender. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I guess you. I'm gonna untransform. Yeah. Yes. And I'm going to look around and be like, "So, who else wants to threaten my daughter today?" Everybody, they all look at the ground. How old are you guys? He asks, looking around. Oh, yeah, they did do damage to Opie. I'm going to say, look, I'm 15, and I'm 
16. If they're clumping up, Dis is going to start using flamethrower on them. Diz, er, Opie grabs Diz. <laughs> Diz, what the fuck are you doing? Prevented from using the flamethrower, she will cast a spell. Wait, how old was the guy that um, OP just killed? We can't ask him now. I mean, yeah, we can. Give me a sec. <laughs> there you go. Hey, how old were you? Oh, uh, Oh, what? I I was 20 years old. Yeah, right. What were you playing with Popey's daughter? She was going to be my best gang member, and I was going to destroy the other gangs and become the ruling gang of Sigil, but I guess not anymore. You, you don't own dragons. It's just not a thing you can do. What do you mean? She's not a dragon. Oh, he's going to look at his daughter. Uh, technically, I am a dragon. Why do you sound, like, upset about that? Mm. Well... Do you want to know the reason why I ran away? Let's get Diz away from the children first, and then you can tell me. Okay. Is no, casting just gonna... Scorching Ray at these three? I'm going to cast Blight on Diz. Yeah, yeah and Kate grapples Diz. What'd you say? Kate tries to grapple Diz to prevent him from doing it. Go kill kids. Okay, well, yeah, you scorched the... You per... Let's see... Oh! What the heck? We surrendered! And the uh, extra D8 only gets added once. Okay. Oh, no! Stop attacking my friends! Uh, I've made this I... choice, and I have to commit. We've only picked it up recently, and we could leave it at the pound later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast Blight on Diz. If they're going to keep attacking. What are you doing, Cloudy and in Hazel? Um. So I had to step out for a second. Why is the initiative order gone? Well, we, we thought we were out of combat, but let me put that Boss back. Enemy got... This is going crazy again. Okay. I, was about to, I, I, I came back. I was like, oh, it sounds like we're initiative. And everyone is objecting. <laughs> Okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I guess I will move. So I can get a better look. Uh, I'll ask what's going on Knock down there is like out. in this area. What? Knock is out. Oh, okay. I guess I'll go do that. I hit Diz for 38. Okay, oh, hold on. Uh, I think they get a save. And I guess roll initiative. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> oh. Okay. Diz needs to make a con save. 
Wait, we have to roll initiative first. See, see who can't. Whenever we want. So, Cloudy and Hazel, you have to roll initiative. Oh, we have to stop. We have to stop uh, the, the robot. <laughs> Hazel, roll initiative. What'd you say? I was saying Hazel. Hey, okay, there we go. So now everyone's initiative. So, okay, Cloudy, and what do you do? This has gone crazy robot again. I guess I will. Well, last time we waited 10 minutes, right? What are we waiting for? Last time we waited 10 minutes, right? You can wait if you want to. It's up to you. Okay, well, uh, last time I checked, I am not Jojo, so I cannot freeze time, and I thought that would help, so I gotta, I guess I gotta whack him. Okay. Uh, that good with you, Cat? Go with what you feel like. Uh, I will grapple. Oh. oh, character, yeah, you can hit me. I will grapple. Okay, roll your con what's that? Cont the contested strength. Yes. You're going in the pocket. It's not a attack roll first to see if you can hit. No, you just roll your strength. No, I, I, I'm grappling you. Okay. Uh, contested strength, or was it athletics? It's contested athletics. athletics, or athletics. Or athletics. athletics. Alright, so that's a 20. <laughs> oh! And that one and that 20. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're not grappled. Alright. I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll stab him. What does it say? My damage yeah, and we'll say it's non-lethal. Yes, this will be non-lethal berserk attack. Um, does a eighteen hit? Now, all right. That is a that is my turn. Okay, it's Diz's turn. Wait, wait. And... Is Bless still up? Yes. Yeah. Add your D four. Does a twenty-two hit? Now. Wow. Okay. I'm just gonna keep grappling. Well, screw you. I'm just gonna grapple then. <laughs> Grappling and restrain does not prevent spell casting. I I'm very much aware. But yeah, is not the what, what am I meant to do? What am I about to do? Yell counter spell? <laughs> yeah, my my solution to spell casting is just make sure the caster can't see their target. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why you're going in the pocket. Mm -hmm. All right, then it's yeah. just his turn. We haven't added a uh, OP to the turn order. Oh, let me do that. Yay. Spells require a target. There are no targets in my pocket. What'd you roll? For initiative? He's under you, don't we? No, oh, so Oops, let me put that in descending order. Uh, so Cloudy and we did Cloudy in. So now, <laughs> now it's Diz's turn. Yeah. yeah. Move to and, Oh, no. And that was Opie. Yep. Move to and here. Gone invisible. Mm -hmm. I think they have disconnected. <laughs> Buzz action. Flamethrower. So they have to make dexterity saving throws? Yep. Okay, dexterity save, dexterity save. 
One passes, one fails. So one takes 11 fire, the other takes half that. Okay, that guy takes 11 damage. And I guess that takes five. Um, by the way, Wolf, yes? where are we currently? In some underground cellar? Well, no, like, worldwide. Plain. In the in the city of Sigil? Well, no, plain. The city of Sigil? Sigil is built inside of Adari, the space habitat. <clears throat> I think he's asking, what would Banish do? You're still on the regular material plane. Yeah, we're on it. Anything else for you, Diz? And then action, yeah. shoot laser eyes at this one. Okay. We really need, like, some antivirus on you. You shoot that person of lasers, pew pew, out of your eyes, and that person is slain. And that would be the turn. Okay, now it's Opie's turn. Does Opie have polymorph? He does. He's been using it on you for a while. Does he have the spell slot? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. He's a full know. caster, and he hasn't used that spell slot. Only. He's only used we a didn't... sixth. He's only used a fifth level hmm. spell slot. Op, what do you do on your turn? Not here. Oh, <laughs> I guess he. I guess he got disconnected. Yeah. Okay, Kate's turn. I guess going to attack. Where's the thing to do with that? Oh, there we go. Okay. Diz, you have to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, right. He was, before he disconnected, he did say he was going to cast Blight on me. Oh, okay. Let me pull that up. Oh, no. Well, it's going to take a long time for his character sheet to load, so... <laughs> Oh, well, that's not too bad. Oh, my goodness. You cast on yourself? Too many spells. Oh, there it is. Cast Blight. The DC okay. is only 14. Okay, so make that saving throw. You pass. So, let's see there. Slash R. That's as much necrotic. So 15 necrotic damage. And then make another constitution saving throw. Okay. Never mind, you don't get stunned. 28. You are not stunned. But you, let's see. And then two more attacks. But that does how much damage? Hey. Uh, wait, let's see. So, seven is this. Is nine. Oh, 27 damage. Then it's Hazel's turn. All right. And the 20 and 13 don't hit. Oops, wait a minute. I mean, you only take 9 damage. Mm 
Hazel. Um, all right, so I drop the last. The five still have actually still up, funny enough. And Schmidt. Make the crucial saving throw. DC. 18. That's a 20. Ooh. And you've been getting really lucky with your rolls. Only for PvP, apparently. Wait, a 20. At 17 plus 3, I dropped plus. So you just got a 17. Oh, okay. Bye-bye. So everybody lost bless. Yes. Okay, so then Diz is banished. The podcast a different minute. concentration spell would drop a previous one anyways. But no, I specifically mentioned it just in case. Okay, so Diz is banished for one minute. <clears throat> Make a 10 round. All right, everybody. Okay, so those guys are like, what the well, heck? We're getting out of here, so they're all going to run away. <laughs> Ruh -ruh. They'll run away screaming. And then one minute later, Diz pops back into existence. <laughs> And since she doesn't see any of the old targets, she should be fine. Oh. Or do we all leave as well in this one minute? You can do whatever you want for one minute before yep. this reappears. She just reappears by herself. We're all long gone. <laughs> Okay, yeah, does you reappear after one minute? Do you do anything? Um, Let's see how they're attacking her friends were nearby. The people who you wanted to attack are gone for some reason. You blinked and they all disappeared. Engage hoverboard and fly over to here. After that minute. Okay. Then bonus action flamethrower the furniture and start shooting eye lasers at it. No need to roll, you demolish the furniture. And for the rest of the time, she's going to be destroying property. Okay, pew pew lasers all the furniture. Okay, and then but from the shadow run, and then somebody answers like, hey, you guys, uh, the, gover the government is after you, but uh, I've been hired by my patron to lead you to safety. They can help you. So if you want, I can lead you to them. Or not, and they'll capture you and throw you in prison. It's up to you. I guess going with them is a good option. I guess we should, hold on. Uh, Claudine's going to ask, who is your patron? Well, I can't say at this point, but all, all will be revealed in time. Well, I mean, um, I could kill you, ask your corpse, and uh, then bring you back to life. 
Okay. That is slow, however. But if you killed one of my patrons' agents, then they would be after you, too. Yeah, well, right. He'd be brought back to life. So it wouldn't cause much of a problem. All right, well, come with me. I know a secret way. And they, they lead you out of there and you go into where is it? Oh yeah, here we go. You go through some more underground tunnels. And you end up over here. Now that I'm not just woken up from sleep and able to think, think somewhat properly. Hey, we're back some sleeping. more. Please don't make the mortar or our base. I don't think she would have been doing that against the generic criminals. Hmm. Okay. Well, you got that all sorted out. Mm -hmm. Yep, so now awesome. looks you're in some more underground tunnels and looks like there's a hallway going to the north and hallway going to the west. Patty needs to be a little bit bigger. There's no more room to make him bigger. That sounds like a him problem. <laughs> Which day do you want to start walking? Well, I mean, this is a morgue, so... Um... I think Monday sounds like a good day to start walking. Yeah. No, not Mondays. <laughs> Do we want to start with Monday? <laughs> Foreshadowing is a narrative device. Uh, no, 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 but well, why are we back at the morgue? Well, no, it's just the same tile set. You're, it's not the morgue. Okay. Yeah. It's a massive city. A lot of the underground tunnels look all the same. Nothing up that I, uh, you didn't read that the park boy. He's like, let's see what we've all been on the board. <laughs> Anyways, weren't we being guided by someone? Yes, a yes. person with a patron. Yeah, uh, they say, oh yeah, by the way, now my name's Sparrow. And so, uh, uh, we just have to get through this part here, and then there's one more part, and then we'll arrive at my patron's headquarters. What is this part here? Oh, this is this underground tunnel that the government doesn't doesn't know about it that we're sneaking through. And what part Why is upcoming? Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, then after that, after these tunnels, then there's a cave, and then we'll be at our destination. Is there anything we should be on the lookout for? Uh, yeah, watch out, because it's dangerous through here. Dangerous how? Mm. Well, 
monsters. What kind of monsters? Any kind. All sorts. So be careful. Which way do we go? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Well... I guess if you just want the it's more of the scenic route to the west there and you just want to be on your way, you can go north. So we'll start heading north. How high is the ceiling? That's about 20 feet. Okay. 15 feet in the air. Apparently every place has to be 20 feet with cloudy in the ground. <laughs> yes, for him to fit. And I still have to crouch. You do. It's a bit cramped for you. I mean, you just have to tilt your head forward since they're only 21 feet tall. I'm 50. Was, my, was I 21 or was it 23? 21. Okay. No, you, um, so it depends if you have a throne on you. The if... throne is more like a backpack kind of thing that I move to my head, so it's fine. And the other height is just a huge backpack. It's adjustable. I, I came prepared for this. Okay, yeah, so you you walk up there. Oh, Hazel, and... you're fast. I just used one turn of movement. Oh, you did? I have essentially the broom of flying, so 50 foot speed. Oh god, someone's jumping us. Get him. No, that's the person who's guiding you. I was about to punch him. <laughs> ah, person, jump scare him. <laughs> Alright, well, just keep going north there and you'll get to the hallway to the next area. Okay, so you step through there and then you end up over here. Hoverboard. Oh, this one's the right size. Okay, yeah, and you see there are people there around a table, and they have a bunch of cupcakes. It's like, hello, are you here to join us for our crump tea and crumpets? Who's your patron? It's like... No, it's those creepy cake people. Just ignore them. Well, I feel like there should be more eight. questions there. I cannot eat. Slice of cake for all of you. I cannot eat. Yeah, but that's disappointing. I am good and taller and I can't. I'll be on my way. You yeah. can let us through. Yeah, dude, piss off then. Jeez, okay. Well, at least that at least that went well. We just hear a laser beam powering up. Yeah, so you can. I physically cannot move through this. Oops, let me. <laughs> you think you can't look at me? <laughs> look at me. No, there was an actual barrier stopping me in the roll 20. Yep, so you, like, oh, fine, just pass through then. Hope you have enough cake for Cloudian over here. Oh, my, aren't you a big boy? 
it starts flying past. Yes. Hey there, cannibals. Let's move. How are they cannibals? <laughs> I agree with the let's move, but how are they cannibals? They're in a sewer. They're offering you confections. And she had the bloody hat. The, the hat is... That one makes sense. I think you need to visit sewer people more often. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, yeah, so you step through there. Oops, let me move everybody over to there. Okay, yeah, you go up some stairs, and then you end up over here. It looks like you're in a casino. Okay. And, yeah. This casino should really... And then... The... Really look into their sewage issues. And then the bellboy walks over and hands you each... Uh, a note that reads this. Yes, and then Toast is like, oh yes, welcome to Fortune's Wheel. We've prepared your accommodations for you. And they lead you upstairs to the hotel, and you all get your own nice room. And there's room service and fresh clothes laid out for you. Does Dis's room have a bed and furniture? Yes. Cool, she doesn't use it. <laughs> I like how you asked for that explicit purpose. Does it have an outlet? There are outlets. This will use that. No. <laughs> Warforge don't run on electricity. <laughs> Who says it was an electric outlet? It's a weave outlet. I hate it. <laughs> and also no. It's like me asking is the room cloudy in size? It's it's probably not, but um <laughs> Probably yeah, maybe the entire room is one cloudy and maybe that, yeah. <laughs> yes. You take up your whole room, Claudian. You can step yeah, one foot in each direction. In the fetal position. You can <laughs> even get the through the door. Position. By squeezing through with difficulty. <laughs> Just you wait until Claudian can commit mitosis. <laughs> Just a few more levels, you'll see. You'll all see. Yeah, and then after you get set it, you can hang out in room or you can go down to, to the casino floor and there's a bunch of stuff to do there. I guess gambling is one, to be fair. Welcome, I've been inspecting you. Don't forget to mention safe here. Yeah, you can do any gambling Just like you want. like all casinos, it is a lawless place. It's 10 gold for each play. There are, there's the slot machines and some table games. And Fortune's Wheel, you can try any of the things. Is 
anyone here adept at uh, gambling? Maybe. I don't enjoy I'll games of chance. Fun. That's what my spot was like literally a game of chance, why not? Let's play. Where's the roulette table? Yeah, there is the roulette table. You can do that if you want to. Yeah, all right. There are the, it has 20 numbers on it. You can bet on it however many you want. It's 10 gold each. Do you want to bet on that? I think that's for you. Oh, sorry, can you say that again? Yeah, so pick any num any numbers one through twenty and you can bet on any of them. Fifteen black. Well no, it's just numbers. No. But you can pick fifteen if you want to. Fifteen. Okay, subtract ten gold from your money. See, and then the number that is rolled is 13. Oh, you didn't win. So your chances of winning are 5%. Unless you bet on more numbers. I'm guessing that costs more. You can pay 100 gold and bet on all the numbers. <laughs> what's the What's the winning? Well, if it's your number, then you get 10 gold. Well, I mean, with, uh, with roulette, there's two different ways. One, you have to get either the correct color or get the correct color and number. Which is uh, why I said 15 black. It's also going for all in the good idiot. No, this place is rigged. <laughs> you know, there's some ten... colors. But it ain't roulette. This nope. is correct. They have a gigantic size roll, uh, 20 sided die that somebody knocks over and it rolls. That's just the detail. <laughs> Body, and you can roll that. A d10? Oh, the giant dice, you mean? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can offer to help them instead of having someone else beat the dice. Sure. I'd like to offer my services for pay to roll the dice for people. Okay, you can get a gold per day for being the giant dice roller. <laughs> okay. The dice that just looks like a normal dice with blood in his hands. <laughs> yeah, you, you can, there's that roulette game, or there's dead hands dice. The table game? That one does not seem like something you should be playing. Or there's the slot machines. Or there's Fortune's Wheel. No, uh, with the poker table stuff. So you don't have that, but let's see. You know how to play poker wheels. Uh, but do you want? Does anyone else want to play any of the other games? No. <laughs> I will. Um, uh, sure. What are the games? I'll play. One. Oh yeah, there's slot machine, or dead man's dice, or fortune's wheel. Let's play fortune's wheel. That sounds the least ominous and least rigged. Okay, it's it's a, wheel, it's a really big wheel, and it's made up of three sections, like one of the. Skyrim dungeon wheels. So let's see here. So you let's see, pay ten gold, and let's see, the outer okay. wheel is. I'll take ten gold from my inventory. Okay, that's the outer wheel. Then the middle wheel is that, and then the last wheel is that. Now I have to look up that table. Well, 
Un boomin. No worries. Yes, we'll walk up to one of the slot machines. Crack it. <laughs> <laughs> Plug yourself in. <laughs> Ooh, okay, wow. let's see. There you win. Let me grab that. I am the chaos gremlin on your shoulder. You win one of those. I'm not... I got one of what? Portal compass. You get a portal compass. Okay, so this points me towards portals? Yes. This will be good for avoiding the Fae. Point you through the here. last portal it went through. Oh. Well, do I, can I ask them what's the la Can I ask them what it does? They just handed me a compass. It doesn't uh, come with... That would, it, that would point you as far as you can tell, it's a regular compass. Okay. That is why I ask them. Like, what to do? It's a portal compass, dummy. What you call me? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> okay. It's first person that's called the Cloudy and Idiots in this campaign, so that's... Mm, so who's reaction? Not the first to think it. I, I will give them that much. <laughs> okay, and then here is your second prize. Okay. So wait, that portal, is, is it the last portal it goes through, or I went through? What? What, cat? The thing Wolf just posted is your second prize. You are now the yeah. deity of gazebos. Hold on, let me reread this one. I'm a quasi d, &D. With a petty portfolio. Mm -hmm. I I control dust mites, scheduling conflicts, gazebos, three toed sloths, celestials, and fiends. Acknowledge the the parts of great. Ah, uh, this will be my second divine. Uh, well, hold on, let me roll. Let me in the d four. No, 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 no. Uh, no, uh, d four to one. Yeah, so you are you become. The quasi deity of gazebos. Okay, so confirm gazebos. Mm hmm. Does anyone else? So, really, people yeah. who hunt gods are like, no, this, this, I'm not going to bother with this guy. But gods are like, yes, yes, we, we acknowledge you as one of us, whatever. Well, you're now the god of gazebos. I would have liked scheduling conflicts, but that's fair. Isn't a gazebo like those things in parks? Yes. Yes. You're now in charge of them. Why is that like a... This is such a... I guys, I got a... How, how big can I make them? Hold on. <laughs> Let me click. <laughs> big enough for you to sleep under. Space gazebo. Who's ready? <laughs> <laughs> who's, ready to, who's ready for a giant space gazebo? <laughs> Does anyone else oh, want to try their luck on the wheel? This is yes. approaching the slot uh, machine. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, okay. This you 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 approach the slot machine. It has a big handle that you can pull. Can I use computers to examine the slot machine? <laughs> yeah, it's just a machine that ran generates random numbers. Can I view the odds of any individual set of numbers? Yes, so there are six symbols, and three of them get picked every time. So do I understand the odds of winning are very low? It's a casino. The odds are against you. I just became a god. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so wait, uh, my question is: Would the would this compass 
be porting towards a Fey portal, or what kind of, or would it be porting to something else? The last portal you went through was to the Feywild. Was the last from portal the it went through. Okay. So it has to it's... go through a portal in order to have an oh, effect. Never mind. It hasn't been used, so currently it ports to no portal. The needle is, is static. Yes. Uh, I thought it'd just be spinning. Nope. All right. Do you want to try the slap machine, Diz? She is investigating the code of the slot machines and trying to get into the mainframe, basically. Okay, well... If you want, I can roll computer. Yeah, well, you can try hacking. You might get caught. Roll computers. I can add a plus five to this, and okay. I will. 21. 21. All right, let me see if any. Yes, you are hacking very well. Let me see if any of the Acrimony. guards notice you. <laughs> uh, let's see. Roll, roll, I guess, sleight of hand to do it sneakily. Sneakily. Here, let me just do this real quick. Click on the thing, click on that. Okay. Yes, no one notices you. So let's see what prize you get from the machine for hacking it. The god of three toed sloth. Oh, you get a toothed copper gear worth 25 gold points. She wasn't trying to win a prize. What are you trying to do? Gather information. Uh, okay, what type about of. About the casino. What do you want? How to many people have played these games? Exactly how many have won? What they've won? I feel like you'd get mostly like a specific one to the slot machine, unless this is a very advanced. Casino. Okay, so far while you're hacking in there, you can see that the prizes are. Let's see. You can win wriggle and larva, teeth from various animals and strangers, a gold ring, a tooth copper gear, temper hit points or fire damage dealt to the participant. Mm, that one sounds like a fun prize. Mm -hmm. I guess that's one way to make sure the elderly don't get addicted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or let's see, the best prizes are dimensional don't shackles, spell scroll of polymorph, ring of protection, mace of smiting, ring of supreme healing, and necklace of fireballs. You don't want people getting too addicted, you know? <laughs> Congrats! You win! Fire! Fire? Fire! <laughs> Burns. Okay, so anything Is it else? not connected to any other devices? Okay, yeah. What type of other devices are you looking for? Uh, not connected. Well, there's the security cameras. And then vending machines. He walks up to the vending now. Doesn't really have any options for that right now. Hazel, you wanted to do something. Yeah, Hazel, what were you doing? Roll the wheel. Okay, time to roll on the wheel. Trying to subsume your deity. No, I just want to become the deity of Okay, you spin the wheel. 
It's been looks between I mean I should click there. So you get one, three, and eight. No idea what that means. Okay, you win a random portal key. Put write that down. All right. Random portal key. Yep. Oh, and you win a property deed. A property deed. Mm -hmm. right. You're now a homeowner. Yep. Oh yeah, and let's see. Now that you've opened the property deed, you win. Get they hand you the property deed, so it's to an empty lot. Oh, no house. Let's see. And then you get a mental message from your patron. It's like, what the fuck have you done? <laughs> Why is it? Why is the chunk of bylaw and gone missing? Was that supposed to be just to Hazel? That's or... just to Hazel. Because I can read it too. Oops, I typed ever know well. Well, I mean, it works. Property dude, I could just have them build the church. Let's see if I. Uh, I shall roll the thing again. Uh, you, if... you only get to roll the Wheel of For Fortune's Wheel one time. Only once? Mm hmm Ever? At, oh, yeah, at least for now. All right, I go to the bathroom, I shapeshift, and I come back. You try to spin the wheel, and it doesn't spin. No, oh, it's one of those special wheels. I think I have to do it. Okay, and then while you're all playing the various games, then you hear some uh, disco music, and some people walk in, they're like, we're the vacuum impersonators, and they, they, they go across the room dancing, everybody's like, ooh, this is so entertaining. Wait, they're the what impersonators? The vacuum impersonators. Oh. And they all have eye patches on, and they all have one of their hands up their sleeve, so you can't see it. Is that how the Vecna look? You know, the eye and the hand of Vecna. Oh. <laughs> and then also, too, you hear some commotion at the bar, and there is a dragon, a dragonborn. And they're like, ah, and they're being belligerent and yelling at everyone. That's rude. And then security comes like, sir, you need to leave. And they drag him and he's like, hey, I'm a paid customer. You can't do this to me. Ah, I wait until my lawyer hears about this. And then, after that, the lights dim, and the crowd murmurs with anticipation, like a spotlight. A portal appears in the hall's vaulted ceiling and casts a golden glow on the casino floor. A grand spiral staircase twists down from the portal, accompanied by an, an, an orchestral fanfare, a copper-furred, fox-headed bean in an exquisite gown, gracefully descends the stairs. Her arrival is met with thunderous applause. And it's like, ooh. And then she, uh, you know, walks around and makes small talk with everybody. And then heads over to you guys like, and says, oh, well, uh, I'm here to have a meeting with all of you. Why don't you come into my office? I'm Shemenska, by the way. Pleased to meet all of you. 
I've heard about your deeds, so I have a proposition for you. Let me guess, you want us to topple this government? Mm, I admit, I'm not a big fan of the government, but uh, that's not what I was composed to this time. Uh, come here to my office and we'll discuss my proposal. All right. Uh, hopefully your office has a 20 foot ceiling. Mm, yes, anything to accommodate any of you. And then you walk into our office. And then that's the end of the session. All right. <laughs> Just has to ask about the ceiling height. <laughs> Is it tall enough?